Well, soon there will be a new way to experience a piece of Colorado's mining history and the beauty of Idaho Springs. Number 7's Katie LaSalle is at the historic Argo Mill where the gondola will be installed. Katie, where will it go? Ah, good morning to you both. This is really neat. I love being able to tell this story. It's not much. There's not much to see here just yet, but eventually the cable car will take you up over Rosa Gulch 1.2 miles and ascend 1300 feet and up top. It'll be a great place to hang out and enjoy the beauty of this historic town. So let me show you some renderings that we have this morning. This has been in the works now for years, but crews tell us they've made some progress over the summer. The scenic gondola will take you about 10 minutes to ride up, have room for eight to 10 people per car. Then on the top, hikers and cyclists will be able to access 12 miles of trails. It'll feature pedestrian plazas, viewing decks, food, beverage options, and a gorgeous amphitheater. There will also be a picnic area that will traverse the other side of the mountain and lovely things for everyone to enjoy. We've also got the promenade and the picnic, which is wheel wheelchair accessible. And then you come to a 300 seat open air amphitheater that will be perfect for weddings, corporate events, Bronco evenings on the big screen. And right there is what we call the outpost where our elevated mountain style food and beverage options will be happening. And we know there's so much history in Idaho Springs. This mill and tunnel, it was really processing a lot of gold back in the late 1800s and early 1900s. They do tours seven days a week, a national historic site. I actually have never taken a tour, definitely on the list. And organizers tell me that they hope to have the gondola and outside amphitheater up top open this time next year. So fingers crossed for next fall. And we'll be out here covering the opening of the cable car. Reporting in Idaho Springs, Denver 7's Katie LaSalle. Oh, it'll be perfect timing for it. Thank you, you Katie.